health care legislation get some fresh ammunition. A new report indicates the plan would increase the ranks of the uninsured by 14 million people next year alone and 24 million people over the course of a decade. The Justice Department has asked lawmakers for more time to provide evidence backing up President Trump's assertion that former President Obama wiretapped his New York skyscraper during the election. Let's get some perspective on both of those issues with our News for Jack's political analyst, Rick Mullaney. Rick, the CBO report appears to be a bombshell. The GOP says it's misleading. What do we believe? Well, there's no doubt even before the report that the Republican plan had its detractors on the Republican side and on the Democratic side. The CBO report clearly is a problem uh, with, the, with what it outlines. On the Republican side, Speaker Ryan will tell you it's misleading in part because there is no mandate under the Republican plan. Therefore, you're going to have some people that aren't covered because they choose not to be covered. That's a pretty strong argument. However, it's not a very strong argument when you begin to look at the people that may lose coverage due to lack of funding for Medicaid. Because part of the Republican plan does involve a very significant decrease in Medicaid funding over the next 10 years. Also, the Republican plan or those who argue in favor of it say that the CBO report does not take into account the regulatory scheme that would follow and other sorts of changes in the law such as competition across state lines. But there are those who say when you look beneath the, beneath the surface, what we're doing is, is showcasing class warfare and trading health care for the poor for tax, tax cuts for the rich. I think it's a little early to come to that conclusion. It, this is so complicated, as the president noticed himself a couple weeks ago. To step back, the, the Affordable Care Plan, the Obamacare Plan, what it did was create 21 new taxes, raising $1.2 trillion that, it, that was spent primarily on Medicaid expansion and subsidies on the exchanges with a mandate. This plan goes in a very different direction. It's reducing the taxes, reducing the expenditures, and it's trying to use tax credits and trying to get government out of the business of health care. There's a new regulatory scheme that they would like to put in place, competition across state lines as they try to tout, which I don't think is a silver bullet, but it is touted. So some may characterize it that way, Bruce, but I think you have to let this play out a little bit. I think you will see amendments to this plan. Oh, there's no doubt that they're <laughs> coming. But uh, does, does this break the president's campaign promises, cover more people, reduce premiums, avoid cutting Medicaid, and, and leave no one worse off? There is no doubt if you took the CBO report at face value that the CBO report is inconsistent with what the president has been promising. Um, I don't think you're, this is the end of it yet for the Republican plan. This is really sort of Paul Ryan's plan in primarily, who is the architect of this plan. It has already passed two committees. There's another big committee meeting this week. But the answer to your short answer to your question is I do think this is inconsistent with that. That's why I think you're going to see some changes. All right, let's move on to the wiretapping issue. The DOJ is asking for some more time. Legitimate or stalling tactic? Bluntly speaking, I, I think they need a little more time because it is, there is no evidence at this point in time uh, regarding proving the, uh, that supports President Trump's claim that President Obama wiretapped phones at Trump Tower or his, or, or, uh, his phones uh, during the campaign. Uh, this has drawn the attention of the FBI director. It's drawn the attention of Republicans and Democrats who've been critical of this. But next week, the House Intelligence Committee will be hearing testimony from the FBI director. I think the Department of Justice is trying to get a little bit more time. Uh, and already you can begin to see a shift in the White House on this issue. And how does the American public react to the fact that the White House is now backtracking? I mean, Sean Spicer made it clear. The president didn't mean wiretapping. The president didn't mean former President Obama personally. I think Sean Spicer yesterday was basically saying, don't take us literally. Uh, we said wiretapping. We didn't quite mean wiretapping. We said President Obama. We didn't quite mean President Obama. Uh, it's a tough spot. Met for the administration. He met the administration. And therefore, but that's not going to play very well. This allegation is more serious than some of the others. H how big was the crowd size at the inaugural? Even the allegation regarding three to five million illegal votes. This one has drawn the attention of investigative committees, of the FBI director, of the CIA director, testimony next week. This is problematic for the Trump administration. I don't think they're going to lose core support. Detractors will be more inflamed, but it is a very serious credibility issue, and I think that Trump has a problem on this one. Rick Mullaney, thanks for your perspective. Always enjoyable.